solder, USB soldering iron because this is only lightweight work we're doing. The fan is on to blow the fumes out of the way. I've got my meter ready so I can check the resistor values. Let's just get one of those in place to hold it still. So, that's the first bit done. Try and straighten those legs up a bit first. Okay. Okay, that's two done. A 10K resistor. Brown, black. Is that red or orange? Must be orange, because that's one, zero, and then we want three zeros after it. So that's 10k. Trim these as we go along. An eight five five zero transistor. Might be a bit good idea if I'd order ten Ks first. be less to fiddle with. Those are all 8050 transistors. Okay, you've got a problem. We need four 8050 transistors but that one unless I misread it no, that's an 8550 well I'm a bit worried now Because on the circuit board, that one's an 8550, that one's an 8550, that's an 8050, 8050, 8050. I'm not showing you. The base on that one goes to R4, and the base on that one goes to R4. So I think that one there. Sorry about the focus. I think the last one should be the 8550, not the 8050. Okay, we need to identify those other resistors now. There's a 1K, 1, 2, three four hundred and seventies and a four point seven and a ten meg so that's my three four hundred and seventies one K Quite a bit of this printing here seems to be different to what it says on here. That says 3.3 R, and yet it's 3.3 meg. Maybe I just misunderstand. Well, my meter doesn't measure mega ohms, 
so I'm going to have to use my table to look them up instead. 3.3 .3 is going to be that one, orange, 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 green to be exact. And we want 10 goes. So that's got to start with a brown. Brown, black, green, so that's 10 mega ohms. And then the last one was 4.7 mega ohms. So that should be yellow, violet, green. I guess that must be that one. I can't recognise those colours very well. There's only one place that capacitor can go, because it's an electrolytic. That's the only place that wants an electrolytic. That little capacitor there, 104104. The switch always worries me as to which way round it should go. There is a slightly different spacing, so it does actually only go one way. I like to check it with my meter first. Power. Now some diodes. Uh, LEDs, I mean. Long leg is the positive. no good I'm trying to rush because the battery's running out. That's all the soldering done so just have to connect up some power. I said time to apply the power but I did forget a minor little point. Haven't plugged the chips in yet. Now we'll put some power on it. Well this is disappointing. I powered it up and all that happened was these two chips got very hot I managed to figure out what I did wrong and I just can't believe how I managed to do it. I put all the LEDs the wrong way round. Very silly, very basic mistake. But I fixed it now, I've turned them all round. So now, power on, we press the button, all the LEDs come on and then they start flickering. And we get a random dice number. So we've got three. Press it again. All the LEDs come on. Start flickering. Four. Six. So, basic mistake, Grandad. Put all the LEDs the wrong way round. I just can't believe I did that. And it'll be on film as well. So, there we go. Job done. Two sixes in a row, wasn't it? <laughs>